Hey right, guys, welcome to my house. So before I take you guys inside, you guys have to take your shoes off, okay? I'm sorry, but that's the rules inside of here. So real quick, if you're watching this video, just take your shoes off real quick. You know, I'll give you guys a few seconds. <laughs> okay, I'll just play it. But anyways, uh, before we get started, guys, we got the apartment. If, if y'all saw my last video, we took a tour of, uh, it was not this apartment, it was a different one. But we had no idea that we were going to be getting an apartment that day. We were just looking around, and next thing you know, next day, we signed the lease. The day after that, I moved all my stuff into this apartment, and then last night I spent the first night here and it's awesome I'm pretty excited for you guys to see around check out everything I have so far um, it's kind of empty right now just because the only thing I brought was this stuff from my room but anyways let's not waste any more time I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of the new vending apartment or I'm not sure what I'm gonna call it yet of course once you go inside this is the living room we're still debating on how we're gonna be setting up the couch and the tables and stuff so once you walk in the door you know we have a room right here down there is where we have all the shoes once we come inside. So first off, we have a mess. Okay, we have a mess just because um, you guys can see this is this used to be my desk, but while we were moving everything, it ended up breaking. Ah, so now I don't have a desk. It kind of sucks. I had to order another one. It's gonna be here tomorrow. And that's why I have nothing set up just because there's no point if I'm gonna be getting another desk. I brought my mini fridge with me, even though we have a big fridge already. <laughs> and uh, this is the gumball machine. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me, Jaime, do you still have the machine? I still have you guys. Um, I'm sorry I have not been able to find a location for it. I've been really busy. You know, I moved into a new spot. Now, there's something really, really special on the other side of these doors. But anyways, this room, there's two rooms in this apartment. This is going to be more of like the office slash like editing slash something else once I open up these doors. Why isn't them too much? Sorry. You guys ready to see what's on the other side of these doors? Let me go ahead and turn on the light first. And here Oy. you guys go. Life I knew I had all the swag, all the swag. All my life I knew I had to get that back, get that back. All my life I knew I had all the swag, all the swag. All my life I knew I had to get that back, get that back. Back swagging, back season, back chasing. I'm needing every dollar bill for the things I'm seeking. Lights, camera, action, Fendi, Gucci, Prada. They got me on that brand name, I told you what they taught us. This is gonna be pretty much my storage slash where I'm gonna be keeping all my product, all my sodas, all my chocolate. Yeah, I can see all the chips I have. It looks so nice. It looks so satisfying. By the way, if you guys are wondering why I don't have anything in boxes, if I brought every single box, it would just take up way too much space. So we put everything together and just brought everything at once. You guys might recognize this little storage. What do you call this, baby? But right here, I just pretty much keep all the pastries, you know, donuts, my best sellers, a few cupcakes, and just a whole bunch of random stuff over there. Down here, I do keep all the sodas. It doesn't make sense to put them you know higher if they're kind of heavy so I keep all the sodas down there right over here is where I keep all the candy slash chocolate you know we got a few chocolates over there we got Hershey's we got cookies and cream over here is where I keep all my camera equipment my old camera and just a whole bunch of other cables and chargers but over here yeah I can see I still have some credit card machines left over I did install two credit card machines in my last video so you guys saw that I still have four left let me know if y'all want me to take you with me when I do go install them but anyways up there is where I keep all my leftover parts for example over there I do have three empty coin mechanisms and then over here I do have two bill acceptors I do also have like three more bill acceptors and three more coin mix in my car by the way that's pretty much it for the vending room I have no idea what I should call this place I was thinking maybe either between like the snack room or maybe the vending room so comment down below let me know what you guys think what should I call this place the snack room maybe what do you think baby like just the closet <laughs> <laughs> not just the closet also this whole room maybe I can buy like big giant letters put them on the wall and 
anyways, let's move on. Oh, also, by the way, I do have, you guys have seen this before. Every single time I go collect money from my vending machines, I always keep the quarters, but all the dimes and nickels and pennies, I do put them inside. So how long do you guys think it would take to fill up this whole thing? I'm not sure why there's a candy right there. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, we do have like little storage closet over here. I do have my boosted board still. Right over there, it's pretty nice. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I did fall from it a couple of weeks ago. I ended up going to the hospital because I fell from you it. You have to stop saying that, baby. It's Why? not cool. <laughs> it just makes you sound like a... Like a what? <laughs> uh, right here, this little thing is our dining table for now. <laughs> this is what we've been eating just because y'all yeah, can see we don't have a dining table. But I'm pretty excited about this next part over here. Uh, you guys can see my dolly actually over there, which is what I used to move my soda machines, my snack machines. It's open right now. Nothing too special. I mean, we got some space if we ever want to come, you know, drink some coffee, maybe eat our own product, our chips and stuff, you know, why not? This thing's kind of loose, so we got to be careful because if we leave too much we might fall because we do live on the third floor and I'm, it kind of sucks I'll tell you guys why in a second and let's continue the tour oh baby we gotta show them oh yeah we got a tennis court yeah we got a nice little view of the tennis court we I don't mean, know how to play yeah we don't <laughs> <laughs> it's raining it's raining Oh yeah, it is raining. Can you see it on this camera? No, probably not. By the way, I do keep this door open all the time, even at night, just because, I mean, like I said, we do live on the third floor. Like, come on, is somebody really gonna climb up and come break into here? If somebody is able to do that and actually is skilled enough to climb up three stories and come inside to steal something, then they pretty much deserve it. You know, <laughs> they, they earned it. <laughs> they earned it if they can do that. Over here, uh, it's kind of, I mean, it's not too small, you know, just nothing too special. We got stainless steel appliances. We have all these cereals over here which you guys saw when we tasted some of them. We got a whole bunch of apple juice <laughs> and orange juice and just some eggs and stuff. Again, nothing too special. Okay, Google, turn on the hallway. You got it, turn on the hallway light Hey, on. you guys see that? I set up like three smart light bulbs around the apartment and I still need about 15 just to cover up every single room. Okay, Google, turn on the guest restroom. Sure, turn on two. And there you go. I'm not gonna go inside. I mean, it's a restroom. What do you guys wanna see in the restroom? There's a toilet. You guys want to see that. <laughs> but over here, this is the second room in the apartment. This is actually where we're going to be sleeping. Ah. You guys have actually seen this before. Um, I showed it in my last room tour. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it. I showed you guys every single room. Now, let me talk about the third floor. Because like I said, we do live on the third floor. And you guys know, I do service my vending machines every seven to 14 days. And living on the third floor, it's gonna make it impossible carrying all these sodas, all these snacks, all the way downstairs, walking all the way to my car, coming back up, get some more sodas, do everything all over again. But yeah, like I was saying, we do live on the third floor. If I do that every single time, eventually, Eventually, I'm gonna get tired, especially for these sodas, because these sodas are pretty heavy, and I just can't keep doing it every single time. Especially, you guys know sometimes when I do go to Sam's, I buy a ton, a ton of product at Sam's. So I had an idea, and I want you guys' opinion on this. Do you guys think I should just save my money and just do it that way? Or I was also thinking on getting a storage unit. Now, now look, I know. I know it's more money, but I was looking up storage units around my area. There's one like half a mile away. It's only $20 a month. It saves me a lot of time. A lot out of work so again let me know what you guys think should i just get that storage unit pay 20 dollars a month but anyways there you guys have it that's pretty much everything we have so far again we do still have to buy furniture we need tables we need couches we need tvs but guys i finally have my own place after so long i finally have my own place so if there's any other videos you guys want me to make next then comment down below what should i do in here or how should i decorate my place this is exactly what i was talking about we have to go three stories down okay right there we got one story second story and then third, last one. Oh look, that's our car. All right guys, so right now we are currently at Sam's because like I said, we are gonna be getting a whole bunch of stuff for the brand new apartment. We have to get food, we have to get utensils, we have to get soap, pretty much everything you can think of. Now like baby, before we start getting stuff, I'm gonna let you know right now, we're not gonna be getting junk food no more, okay? No, do you know that? <laughs> I just want everybody to see. Every time we come to Sam's, I'm always the one pushing it. No, you're such a liar. I've been pushing it this whole time. Do y'all see him pushing it? No, cause look, Anyways guys, I'm actually gonna be getting coffee. Uh, fun fact about me, I love French vanilla coffee. So I'm gonna get this huge box. It's, come here. Should you tell them the news? Hey, <laughs> hey. If you guys couldn't tell, she was just playing. Baby, how much are we gonna sell all this stuff in our vending machine? Like, we can sell these knives for $5 each.
So we finally finished making our very first dinner in this apartment and it actually went pretty good. We made chicken tostadas. Okay, so look, this is my plate, but just so you guys can see how Mexican my girlfriend is, look how much sour cream she put on hers. It's like a snow globe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so it is actually the next day and before I end the video, I wanna give you guys a huge thank you to everyone that watches every single video, everyone that likes the videos, that comments on every single video. Again, thank you guys so much for everything. So I'm actually doing a small giveaway right now for everyone watching. The reason why I didn't talk about this at the beginning of the video is because I wanted this giveaway to be for those of you that actually watched the whole video. So you guys are awesome. All right, thank you so much. But anyways, the item I'm gonna be giving away is actually another brand new gumball machine. I gave away a gumball machine, I think it was like a month ago. The reason why I'm giving away another one is because last time, a lot of you guys actually wanted one to start a vending machine business. So that's the reason why I'm giving away another gumball machine. It actually just came in today. I also got my brand new desk, which I was talking about yesterday. It's in that huge box down there. But anyways, there's only two things you guys have to do to win that gumball machine. Number Number one, of course, be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, I'm sorry, you can't win. It takes two seconds, go down below, click the subscribe button. Step number two, you guys have to go down below to the comment section and comment anything you guys want. It doesn't matter if you comment your favorite food, your favorite color, it doesn't matter. Just go down below, comment anything you guys want. And if you guys didn't know, I do go live every single Wednesday. So once I do go live, I'm gonna pick a random winner and I'll send you that brand new gumball machine. But anyways, that is gonna be pretty much it for the video. I hope everyone did enjoy. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. Let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the new apartment anyways i'll see you guys next time peace out